Meghan Markle and Kate Middleton's brief first meeting didn't go how Meghan had hoped. Meghan, Duchess of Sussex didn't exactly get the warmest welcome into the royal family. When she and Prince Harry, Duke of Sussex first decided to get married, media outlets dubbed them and Prince William and Catherine, Duchess of Cambridge the new Fab Four. Fans thought the royals were stepping into a new area with the Sussexes and the Cambridges at the helm. But unfortunately, the group didn't get along as well as fans had hoped. Meghan Markle's introduction to Prince Harry and Prince William Meghan and Harry met through a mutual friend in 2016. Their first date was at the Dean Street townhouse. At the end of the evening, which had lasted almost three hours, Harry and Meghan went their separate ways. An excerpt from Finding Freedom, Harry and Meghan and the Making of a Modern Royal Family reads, Despite the palpable attraction between them, there was no goodbye kiss, no expectation, just a hint that something was there and they hoped to see each other again soon. Soon, they were in a full-fledged relationship and Harry was ready to defend their union to anyone. When William found out about Harry's new love, he told his brother to slow down. Don't feel you need to rush this, William told Harry. According to sources, take as much time as you need to get to know this girl, the book reads. This warning seemed like a rejection in the eyes of Harry. Harry went mental and accused his brother of trying to finish their relationship before it had started, a source told Daily Mail. But when Meghan finally did meet William, things went well. The two met in November 2016 at the Cambridge's home in Kensington Palace. Kate was not there as she was with the children at Anmer Hall. Meghan was disappointed she didn't get to meet Kate. But having gotten along so well with Harry's brother, she didn't think much more about that. The book states, Meghan Markle's first time meeting Kate Middleton. When Meghan finally did get to meet Kate, the moment was very brief. On January 10, 2017, Meghan and Harry went back to William and Kate's home. According to the book's authors Amit Scobie and Carolyn Durand, up until that moment Kate had seemingly not shown much interest in learning more about Meghan. But that wasn't necessarily a slight at Meghan. The Duchess is an extremely guarded person. The book claims. Unfortunately, as time went on, the two never had much more in common other than the fact that they lived at Kensington Palace, a source told the authors. Meghan Markle hoped to be close to Kate Middleton. Meghan had reportedly hoped to have a confidant in Kate, someone to help her wade through the waters of being royalty but that never happened. Of all the people in the royal family, Meghan said she had hoped to develop a close relationship with Kate, but was never given the chance. A source told Daily Mail, it was hurtful and disappointing for Meghan. Meghan and Harry have since moved to America, widening the gap between Meghan and Kate.